<laughs> Man. I know we say this like every video that we're excited. Yeah. But I'm excited. Like I'm stoked for this one. Me too. Where are we? We're at the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters. Red Hand for McMurray, Alberta. What time is it? Five o'clock. Always. Oh. We're drinking uh, Canadian whiskey. Oh, this is, I've been, I've been excited to drink these. I've been holding on to these for a while now. Let's break it down. This, I'm gonna start with this. This is from Odd Society in Vancouver. Okay, I've never had their stuff. Don't know much about them. Read a few things online, but I'm excited for many reasons. For one, I know nothing. Brand new. Well, Brand new. Yeah. Well, except he's about to be excited. Yeah, a little little things that we've uh, read already. Ty have read to me in his research. The uh, the distiller, the founder and distiller of this, Gordon Glantz. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, studied in Scotland and then studied under the masters at Springbank. Mm. Yes. Now, for those of you that are deep fans and know <clears> Josh's <throat> love affair with Springbank, we're very excited yeah. to try this. I was I was on the Springbank wagon on the Springbank trail heading to Springbank. <laughs> I thoroughly loved Springbank for a long time. Um, I ended up drastically toning down my collection of Springbank. Oh yeah. Yeah, quite drastically. It uh, went to the same person as a matter of fact, which I'm very happy of. Someone that loves it just as much. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, I'm excited. Springbank's good, quality, oh yes. And when that fella studied under Springbank Masters, Man, I want to see. I want to see I'm your interpretation. Taste that influence. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I want to see your interpretation. I want to see what that influence did. So, yeah. like, well, I I'm excited to see this for sure. Like, I'm so excited. You probably saw at the beginning. I hiked to a waterfall. Yeah. To take pictures of this stuff. Yeah. And I was so excited to drink it there, and I didn't. I refrained until today. Yeah. I watched the footage. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. He did none of the. Hiking. No. No. <laughs> No. Well, what we're going to start with here is this, uh, the Commodore. Commodore. Uh, distilled with 100% BC grown malted barley. Oh, okay. So I'll read you what they wrote here on the bottle. Mm -hmm. uh, I will tell you that this is, uh, this is batch number three, bottled in 2019. Commodore. A new legacy. Commodore honors tradition, beckoning to a Scottish heritage. While proudly thriving in its West Coast birth, Commodore is distilled from 100% BC grown malted barley, to which it owes its <clears throat> distinctive almond sweetness, along with its pepper and tobacco notes. Refined and confident, this Canadian single malt proudly declares welcome to the new world. Hmm. All right. So, malted barley, I'm interested, okay? Uh, I love malted barley. Young, old, doesn't matter. Uh, as long as it's uh, well crafted and you can generally tell when someone's like, yeah. So, I don't know, this is interesting to me. This is brand new. It smells new, but not overly. Yeah, like, it smells like a youthful Canadian malt, man. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it reminds me of some notes, if you're watching from Alberta, that you may have picked up in the first Euclair release which was uh, just over three years old, five, I don't know, something like that. Youthful malt. And I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoy that. I malt. like it when it's done well. Yeah, it's a, it's got a bit of sweetness in there and the sweetness reminds me, I'm trying to uh, pin it to something that I recognize. Yeah. It reminds me of Amarut, single casks that used to get uh, back in like 2007, eight, nine. And you yeah, still I see them see every now and then, but it's like, it's, it's got a, a tea kind of vibe to me. Like tea leaves, almost. That's what I associate that with. Yeah, okay. Just a light tea, maybe a jasmine or something. I don't know, is that something? It can be. <clears throat> I like Dragon that. pearl tea. Dragon pearl tea. Yeah. That's what came to mind. 
Ooh, I like right. that. I like it on the nose. Yeah. Let's see. Let's check it. That's good. Yeah, I'm a fan. It's coming in a little hot though. Yeah, it's um, vanilla, but the sweetness and the spice almost kind of hit you at the same time. Yeah. And then after that spice dissipates, sweetness. And uh, I am a fan. We got some water here. What's this? What's the ABV? For, uh, 46. 46% single malt. So already, man, like we're listening, dude. What do you, what do you? What are you telling us? Man? Yeah, hit me with a few drops. I like it though. It's not abrasive. How many drops do you like, sir? Uh, give me three. One, two, three. Oh, gracias, senor. I'm gonna do three. It's my little bit here as well. Glacier water! Boom. Canadian glacier water, too. Alberta glacier yeah. water. Alberta glacial water. So water. So I only have a little tiny bit. I'm sorry. And that's why I I, I, did, I did the uh, three drops. Yeah, Ty was. I was a little uh, stingy. I won't conserving this. Yeah, so that's okay. It's sold out. You can't get right? it right now. Yeah. No Which batch is this? I heard there this was is batches. batch three. Batch three. Sold out. Sold out. Can't find. That's any too more bad. Right now. I would have a bottle of this on my shelf. I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to go hunting again. I'm going to have to call some Scotch snipers. Hashtag Scotch snipers. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm going to have to call some Scotch snipers in uh, BC. We're going to I talk. think the, that almond nuttiness really comes oh, from Oh, man. Beauty. Yeah. Beauty. I, I find, uh, now you said almond, of course, almond's in my mind. And I'm getting like raw almond. Not like a cooked almond, but like raw, fleshy yeah. almond. Yeah. That's friggin' good, man. That is good. <sighs> yeah, I like that a lot. I'm gonna let that sit. I'm gonna revisit this mm -hmm. uh, after I do um, the rest of the range here. So uh, grab another glass while Ty mm. pours, reads, and we'll talk about uh, this rye. Mm. Yeah, I'll go with you first. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, there's there a bit more generous. That's better. A little bit for me, a little bit for my mustache. So this is 45% as well? Uh, 46%. 46%, Also sorry. batch three. Yeah, 46%. All three, 46%. Yes. Cool. Batch three. So this is uh, the Prospector. This one is 100% BC grown rye. Whereas that one was barley. Mm. All right. Uh, a pioneering spirit. Prospector is 100% Northern BC rye. As I stated earlier, I like to repeat myself. Coaxed into new, heavily charred American white oak barrels with a heady nose of brown sugar, prune, vanilla, and oak. This full-bodied rye melts on the tongue into light spice and stone fruit, leaving it with a crisp, dry finish like crackling leaves. Prospector Damn. is an expression of BC earth and sky, a distillation of the West Coast in every bottle. Great writing. Mm. Okay. Suck me in with the writing there. I like that. That's... Um, they got good writing, good bottles, yeah. good labels. Yeah. So far, good whiskey. Yeah. So far, I'm, uh, I'm impressed. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt about it. Ooh. See, I get dill, like, no doubt, man. I get dill on rye all the time. Yeah all the time. I got a little bit of chalk on there. And uh, that smells like fresh cut field. You know, maybe that chalkiness that I'm, it's not chalk. No. It's like uh, the pit of, of a, a plum almost. Like the, the pit, that weird part that tastes weird, leaves you sour. You, you kind of bite into it a little bit. Yeah, but I like it. I like that. Wow. Yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> I like this. Yeah. It's a little bit sharp on the nose, but... Uh, it's it, darker in color. Yeah, I sure. wouldn't call it a deterrent. No. Nope. The sharpness is not a deterrent. Yeah, I mean, natural color, I have no idea. Does it say on the bottle? 
Does it say anywhere? Did you read natural color? It does not say it. I, I hope it is. I, I just like when people put on their bottles natural color, just because I like to know. But, um, yeah, I don't think it says. I mean, these are different colors, so they're not going for consistency. I mean, one's a rye, one's a malt, but eh, whatever. Let's give it a tasty poo. Let's do it. Just a little tasty poo. Mm. Oh, that's... Wow. <laughs> what, the... what are they doing? I don't know. What are they doing different? Not what I expected. No. But it, it's good. Yeah, yeah. It's got like a, a Christmas cake spice to it. Not the deep, deep rummy thing. But no, like that more molasses. Yeah, the spice... Uh, to me, molasses has that spice to it, that tang. Maybe that's a better word, tang. Yeah. But that rye spice, man, that's all the way through, right to the finish. I like that. I like it a lot. Yeah. So it says 100% rye, but we're in Canada. So we're not sure if uh, they're playing with the rule. But I, I believe that this would be mostly rye. Gordon, yeah. if you're if you're watching, reach out to us and let us <laughs> yeah, know. Give let us, us know. some more details. So far, I love we're details. Your love details. Yeah, we're digging. <laughs> we're picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, we're drinking your sake. I'm Kima smelling sabi. what you're stepping in. Yeah, it's good. Mm. I like this. I I'm a fan. And we, we got a maple barrel. Like <laughs> that's what I'm most excited. Yeah, about. this is crazy, man. That's crazy. But so far, winners, winners all around. This one doesn't need water. I'm gonna have water. I don't want it because. Uh, I have plenty more of Ty's bottle to drink, but usually once it comes and gets absorbed into the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters, then it's everybody's bottle. But uh, we'll see. <laughs> I guess this is good. I like this. Maybe I lied. Maybe I do want to try it with just a little bit of water, but not much. That's a good rye. Mm. I like that. I'm going to add some Alberta Glacier Water. Yeah, all right. Hit me up a bit. So I got a fair size dram. I'm probably gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I can't. Thirteen. Go I'll take. I'll take ten. Ten drops. Yeah. <laughs> you. Ten drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, uh, uh. Ten. Uh, uh, uh. So oh, bad. ten. I almost went eleven. Sorry. This is Canadian education system yeah. bleeding into our Canadian I whiskey experience. I got way too excited over that. Uh, once again, uh, I'm sorry I had to see that. But uh, I'm also not sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you get to see a different side of me. Oh, that brings out oh, lacquer. Lacquer. Like I don't, wood, I don't, wood veneer. Yeah, see, I get like a <laughs> vinyl siding. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. more what I meant. Yeah, so, that plastic. I feel you, man. Smell, yeah. I feel that vibe that you just picked up. Now, see, this is what I, I really like about taste and whiskey um, with a partner, someone who lives here at the Whiskey Heat World Headquarters most of the time, like I do. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, it's fun tasting with someone because they'll put a thought in your head and then that thought triggers a thought. Subliminal message. Yeah, so when Ty said that, I was Im immediately like, okay, yeah, final siding. I'm, uh, that's what made me think of. Because quite often I'll get that note in a whiskey. And no. I don't mind that. I don't mind that note. I got nothing against vinyl siding. What do you think I am? What do you think? I, what do you, think? you know what I got? It's, it's oh, that, I like uh, that, man. That's nice. What do you... you ever do plastic models? You ever, uh, the little bit of glue, uh, model glue? Model glue. Model glue. See, that's something I can't relate to. I didn't do plastic models. I used to play around with those die cast ones for a while, but uh, to pick up that note, man, that's super cool to me. Like, cause that's, that's a trigger of a memory. It's man. not a bad thing. No. Yeah. I ain't mad at this at all. Mm. That's what my uh, friend of mine used to say. Yeah, I'm mad at this. Not this particular one, but yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm mad at that at all. Mm -mm -mm. Let's put that aside. Mm. Yep, that's good. I like that. 
I'm excited for this. Okay. Now, I'm also excited to see how much of a change, what I'm assuming, just total assumption based, you know, not at all, I've never tried, I have no idea. I'm assuming this is going to be sweet. I'm assuming I'm it's assuming going to be well. like uh, a crown royal, uh, what, what, honey or whatever, right? Crown royal maple. I've never had the crown royal maple, <laughs> ever. I've never had it uh, because I had, I don't know what it was, but it was too sweet. It was just a little bit too sweet for me. Maybe if it was in a, a cool, delicious caramel. cocktail or something. For me. Yeah, I could do it, but no. So that's what I'm assuming this to be. But again, I have no idea. So I'm very, very uh, excited to, to give it a go. And if this is natural color, like super cool, took a lot of color from the barrel if it did. And if it's fake coloring, well then it doesn't matter. <laughs> if it's fake coloring, it doesn't matter. But I don't know, I can't say if it is or isn't, I just don't know. Because I wanted to go in this without the knowledge. And then Ty mentioned something about spring bank. And I was like, what? <laughs> so, what? Yeah. His ears perked up. Yeah, it did. I was. I was super, huh? super excited. Did you say spring yeah. bank? Yeah. Oh, 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 it's spring bank. And just at that moment when I looked at Ty, he was on his phone researching, the sun hit him just oh. in that way. Yeah. And I was like, like it struck by a bus or something? <laughs> All right. Well, enough chit chat. Let's get into this. Yep. So, uh, wow. distilled with maple wood smoked malted barley. The maple, Canadian whiskey aged X maple syrup barrels. Maple three times. Ode to our Canadian spirit. This single malt whiskey draws many of its unique flavors from the maple tree. We right. smoke our ba malted barley with maple wood. Smoked barley with maple wood. Yeah. Okay. The distilled spirit is then aged for a minimum of three winters in oak casks that were previously used to age maple syrup. Three BC winters. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> Different than Alberta winter. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Robust with slight smoke and a touch of silky maple sweetness, this whiskey is warm and rich enough to see you through a long, cold winter. Nice. An Alberta winter. Yeah. Well, we'll find out this winter, won't we? When it's minus 50, Minus 55 sometimes, mm. like what? I don't know, man. This is maple sweetness mm. and it's not. I'm not picking up the maple though. Oh, I'm getting tons of maple, but not like, not like the Crown Royal, like I was expecting at all. Not at all. More like, um, I don't know, like a, a little okay. bit of a burning maple. I get the tree sap before it's actually. Yeah, 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 not, yeah okay. you're not talking that sweet maple syrup kind of what I was expecting. But that maple sappiness is what I'm getting. But sweetness. Complete sweetness, man. On now, the they front, didn't say there's any maple syrup added or anything no, like but, that. No, but that's what I mean. Not that sugary thing. That's not yeah. what's happening. That That's delightful. I like, I like it so far. <laughs> so far, I'm a fan. Yeah. yeah I yeah. like the color. Yeah, let's, uh, let's give it a go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's give it a go. Hmm. So. It is subtle. There's a yeah. subtle bit of sweetness. Smoke is what I got first. Yeah. Barbecue sauce smoke. Like. It's like a bullseye. It, it's like a maple barbecue. That it, It's not what I expected. Again, it's not what I expected. And that's good. Maple glazed salmon on a wood plank barbecue. <sighs> Won't you paint a picture for us? Won't you drive for us? I would, but my artistic skills is terrible. <laughs> All our skills went straight to the nose and tongue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. That's good. I'm a fan. I am a fan of this. This got a smoked paprika thing going on here. Like, uh, a sm uh, smoked paprika sprinkled on some uh, lovely uh, pork crackle or something like that, you know? Mmm, I like that. I'm a fan of that. I'm gonna make a barbecue sauce out of Thai's mm. whiskey. We're gonna Is this a whiskey or a spirit? I wasn't listening. It's whiskey. 
<laughs> Canadian whiskey aged whiskey. in X maple syrup barrels. Wow. For three cool. Canadian winters. Would you say this is bottom shelf, mid shelf, top shelf, or glass case? Oh, it's uh, mid to top shelf, I think. Mid to top shelf. Yeah, for, now, for Canadian whiskey. Okay, taste wise, I would say it's mid shelf for sure. Delicious. But I don't know the price. Price! Bottom shelf, mid shelf, top shelf, or glass case? Mid. Well, for the size you're getting, yeah, mid to top. Okay. I I know what I would pay for this. We'll probably discuss it later in the comments. Discuss away. Mm. All right. And if you know, please let us know immediately. And I'm going to get some of my Scotch Snipers out. Yeah, find more of that. Scotch Snipers, you know who you are? Go forth <laughs> yeah. and conquer. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Good. I'm a fan. Gordon and Joel are doing some interesting things down there. I'm a fan. I'm going to add some water just to see what happens with a little touch it of water. It doesn't need water, though. It's 46%, but this one doesn't need water. I'm going to take some one, as well, two, but it doesn't three, need it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How about you, sir? Ah, six. Six. Boom. Sweetness is really coming through now. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this, man. I didn't get much change on the nose with uh, a little touch of water. Not much. That's <laughs> lovely. The palate brought the sweetness right to the tip of the tongue. Mm. Water, sweetness at the tip. It almost eliminate the smoke for me completely. Barbecue's gone. Now it's more like a, um, a sweet ham. Honey glazed ham. Yeah. I like this. This is weird. This is funky. This is what... This is odd. This is why I enjoy sharing whiskey odd. like this. It's odd. odd. You see what he did there? <laughs> Bam. Mm. 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 We can add that sound effect, right? Why not? Sound effect? Yeah. We'll make the guys do it. Here it is. Yeah. Johnny camera guy over there. Take a note. <laughs> Thanks, man. We love you. <laughs> All right, well, there it is. I'm happy. I'm going to start right back at the beginning. I'm not going to uh, cleanse my palate between. I'm just going to give it a go here. Uh, right back. Yeah, I'm right back at the beginning. To enjoy this. Back at the beginning. This got a little bit of pine salt now. Mm. Equally lovely honey. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> right, you got some dill, you got some McDonald's, like a Big Mac. That's what I hope to get in my rye. Mm. Reminds me of teddy bear stuffing. Don't judge me. I would never. I was talking to you. Oh, well they might. <laughs> Back to the sweet, but not Overly sweet maple. That's lovely. So try. Mm. I want to know. What's your favorite? What do you think? Maple's definitely my favorite. Maple's your favorite. Why? It is, yeah. Uh, the flavor profile. Uh, I like pretty much everything about it. Um, I, it didn't need the water. The water changed it slightly, mm -hmm. but just out the bottle, great. Yeah. With or without water? I'm going to drink it without water. That's Hands down. Next time I pour it, no Agreed. water. 100%. Without water. Those of you at home, I recommend try it first. Try it with water after just to see. And uh, we're curious. Let us know in the comments what you think. If you would prefer water or not. Ty prefers not. I agree. I actually think this is one of those ones that I'm going to end up warming up in my hand for a few minutes. Mm. And I want to get a little bit just elevated temperature. I can't wait to, to drink wow. this uh, winter. I love drinking port uh, winter time. I love drinking uh, meat sweat up there. We'll talk about that another day. Love that. Love it. Yeah. And next favorite. Um, I'm going to go with the rye. Rye. Yeah. Yeah. The, the pioneering spirit there. The, the rye the is prospector. beautiful. Beautiful. I think the rye is my uh, number two pick as well. Yep. And what's your first? Malt. There you go. Got to go with the malt. I love that malt. That's a beautiful, youthful, 
lovely, luscious, slightly tangy malt. I, I'm, I'm proud about that. Um, I'd like to get another bottle to back up here. I highly doubt this bottle is going to leave the headquarters, but uh, if it does, we got sample <laughs> bottles. We got sample <laughs> bottles for days. <laughs> but that's it, man. That's my conclusion. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Um, cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers to you, heathens. And cheers to uh, cheers to everybody. Gary and Joel. Yeah. Interesting. Great job. Doing. Great job. Keep it up. We're on board. Hey, hit us up. <laughs> Let's talk. Yeah. Bye. <sighs>